Okay guys, here's some things. I've tried to answer most of the questions I've been seeing about this. Go over a few features, would you? Yeah, this is still the Note 4. I just changed my wallpaper up. Alright. A couple of things I wanted to show you guys here. Which was new. They added this. It's called Smart Manager. It's a RAM manager for your phone. It's included in the Marshmallow update. So there it is. I don't use it a lot. I've been told in the past not to use a RAM manager for it. I know it runs high. I don't know why they included it, but it's there. There it is. Um, another one of the things that people have been asking about, let me see if I can do this. Yep, there's the new S Pen settings. With all the stuff, you know, S Note, I added Evernote and Galaxy. You can do some stuff here. You can go into the settings and add shortcuts to it. So there that is. Uh, one of the other things somebody was asking about was writing on the screen. Screen off. They they added that, but you got to go into your settings to do it. So. I'm a lefty, so forgive my writing. I'm doing this right-handed. So you're able to write with the screen off now. Another cool feature that they added. Now, one of the things I will tell you, I calibrated the battery, and after I did that, I'm getting the battery life is a lot better. Now, the only issues that I've seen so far is when I push contacts, you well, know, I'm getting that error message. So that's probably from, I'm sure that's from the update. The way to go around this though is go into phone and then push contacts from there and then your contacts will come up that way. The other thing too I'm noticing is when you go to charge it afterwards, even with fast charging off, you can see right there, the first time when you plug it in, it's going to fast charge. So I plug it in and then pull the plug out and then swipe this on and off and then it probably should reset it. That worked for me. Um, I guess there's a new icon right there. That's still there. That's for S Pen still. And <coughs> and. I wanted to show you guys something else too. Here's the storage settings. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I've had a few issues with this too. Now, last night I was playing around with it. Leave that right there alone because that's messing things up. That booted a few of my apps that were installed on my SD card when I did that last night, when I selected that right there. So that's another issue that I'm having with this new update. Now also too, when you go into your applications, which I have in my quick settings, 
it looks a lot different now well it looks the same but you can't get you can't see the running apps and all that other you know so when I swipe it that's that's what comes up there's some settings up there to show you for some different options but it won't show you running apps anymore I don't I don't like that feature but that's just part of the new up, upgrade and I wanted to show you guys this from last night I took this all the way down to 1% last night and there you can see from when I took it down to 1% it showed that was almost 22 hours of battery life but my other suggestion to you guys is to um, calibrate your battery which basically means just let it run all the way down after your update let it kill the battery all the way and then charge it once it gets down to zero you plug it in turn it back on and let it fully charge but like I said before you guys do that go in there looking for that quick charge because that's going to be on there first until you play with it the way that I recommended you guys to do it well, there's screen time and or awake and sleep time and all that the awake time was a little more than screen on time because I was listening to music at work I assume that's what that accounts for but the battery life is a lot better than what I thought it was originally after doing what I did recalibrating it alright I'll post this and look for some more suggestions oh yeah I can't let go without telling you guys this I know you're going to be disappointed, but I'm not seeing themes anywhere, and I've checked everywhere for it. I even went into Samsung's Play Store and the regular Play Store and looked for it everywhere, and I'm not seeing it. Usually when they have it, you can select here, and as you can see, it says Wallpaper Widgets and Home Screen. There's no theme there. So I don't think themes is included with this update, unfortunately. I know some of you guys were looking for that. But if I forgot something, I apologize. I'll read the remarks again. And as I go forward, I'll try to make another video and let you guys know. But it's been a full 24 hours since the update. And it's decent with the exception of a few things like I said that SD cards give me problems and I can't get into my contacts from here but there's a workaround for that like I said you know go into phone select contacts and it'll come up that way for now hopefully they'll come up with a fix for it I also suspect this is probably the last big update that we get so hopefully they'll give us another update to patch the bugs that they've got in this one but overall I, I like it it's pretty good battery life's good thanks for subscribing